Hello everyone. So today we'll go over another problem from Lead Code. The problem name is find all numbers disappeared in an array. Cool. So the problem statement goes like this: You are given an array nums of n integers, where nums of i is in the range from one till n. Cool. Now return an array of all the integers in the range one to n that do not appears in the nums vector. Cool. So as you can see that you have some nums array. Or vector, whatever you can say. Now it has some numbers, but only between the range from one till n. Cool. Now you have to tell that what numbers are not there between the number from one to n. Because uh, let's say that. Let's go over and draw one example out to even make it more clear. Let's say I have an array of five positions. Ideally, there should be all the numbers: one, two, three, four, five. The order doesn't matter, but there should be all the five numbers present in this array. Cool. But now in this problem, it states that some numbers are missing. Maybe three is there, then three is there, then three is three is there. So four and five are missing. Now you have to tell that. Cool. Now you can, in the simplest way, you can use a map or you can use a set. You can use another array. All of those techniques can be used to find out which of the numbers are missing. Okay. but the problem also goes like this that you have to do it without using any extra space and also in o of n run time okay so you have to do this in o of n only and also without using any extra space which is using o one space so whenever you see that the constraints okay that all the numbers are between 1 to n only and you have this array which is from 1 till n Okay, so why not store this information inside this array only without altering the numbers? Because you cannot change the numbers, but why not store the information in this array only? What is the information we gonna we gonna store? If I have one, I have to store that I have one. If I have two, I will store that I have two. I I have store three, but I don't have four or five. So I have to somehow store that I have one, two, or three in this array only. How you can store that? I have indexes. Zero, one, two, three, four, all of those indexes. Now, what you can see here is that. Let us take another pen. If I have one, okay, which means that I have one. Cool. Now, in like I cannot store this in another vector or array. Why cannot I flip the sign of the number at the first index? If there is a number at the first index, if I flip that index, because all the numbers will be positive. Cool. So if I flip that, like this, now I change the number minus three to like three to minus three. So indirectly, I know that there is minus, like there is one in this vector. Why? Because I have changed the sign. If any number is negative at any index, I know that that number will be present. Cool. So let us see with this example only. I have one. I flip this sign. Now I go to this point. I have Minus three at this point. Don't see the sign because the numbers are all positive. So do the absolute value. Absolute value of minus three, which turns out to be three. Now it means that I have three also in this vector. So whatever is the number at three, put a minus one there also. So I just actually inserted a minus one at the number which is at the third index, which actually tells me that the third number is present. Three is present. Now going back to two, so I will change the sign for the number at the two position, which is this only. Now I again go to, I find out three, which is actually absolute value three only. So which means that I have another number which is having a index like which is three only, but three number is already negative, which means that this number is already present. Three three tells me that I have to put this number negative, but this number is already negative, which means that it is already present. So don't change the sign. Don't multiply minus one again and make it positive. Always remember that I do the minus one is only telling telling me that this number is present. So don't change the sign. Again, I find out three. So I change the sign for minus three, but it is already negative. So don't do anything. Now what you can see here is that the the number at the first index has negative sign. The number at the second index has negative sign. The number at the third index has negative sign. But the number at the fourth index doesn't have negative sign, or the fifth index doesn't have negative sign. It means that the fourth and fifth number are not there because if there is any number, I would have changed the sign to negative. Cool. 
if it is not present then the sign is not changed so then you have to again iterate from left to right and check that who like whatever number are positive if any number is positive then that corresponding index is actually not present cool so that information you can use because the negative sign is telling me that that number is present that index number is present cool so let me show you the code part here and make it more clear instead of using one or two i have subtract plus one because i am de dealing with zero indexing cool so this is the answer which is storing all the numbers which are not present this is the length of nums it read from left to right and if i am on nums of i cool which number i have to mark out as negative so i have to first get the index of the number i have to mark out so subtract one from it because we're dealing with zero indexing i have one so i have to mark zero to index cool now if that particular nums i want to mark is all it is positive then only mark it as negative multiply it with minus 1 if it is already negative then don't like change it okay so if the particular number i want to change the mark index number i want to change if it is already positive then you have to multiply it with negative sign to make it negative else do not do anything and in the end you have to again iterate from left to right and check that whatever number are positive if it is positive take that index and plus 1 because we are dealing with zero index sign cool and then push that number in the answer vector and just return the answer vector and storing all the like numbers cool if you have still any doubts you can mention on in a comment box i will see the next one till i keep coding and bye